So we studied about different type of data structures inside the Python. Now let's use these data structures with a for loop so we can get a better idea about the actual programming. Let's open the text editor and have a small recap for the use of data structures with a for loop. Let's first create a list with a variable name L and inside this list, let's create some elements. Let's say these are characters. With a, B and C, D being the character elements inside a list. And now let's use for loop to iterate over each element inside the list and print them as they are inside the list. So to do that, we say for loop for then the name of the variable, the, iterate, the iterator which will iterate over this list. We can say it is a character. Let's say C. Then we use in keyword to specify uh, which uh, in in which data structure should we go or in in which iterator should we go. Then we use say the L keyword L uh, variable where we have saved our list. Next we use a colon. Then we go to a next line. This is where we have created the for loop and to write a code inside the for loop block, then we will write here print C. So for this for loop will does is it creates a variable C. The C variable will have the values of each of these elements in the inside the list. It is an iterator which will iterate over the list and it will have all those elements one by one. Let's print this and let's run this file and see what it does. So as expected, we have printed each of the elements of the list here. So let's just uh, understand how we are actually printing each of the element. So the C variable which we created with the for loop, it uh, inside the loop, uh, its values get updated once uh, what with the elements which are inside the list. So at first the C will be equals to A, then C value will be equals to B, then C value will be equals to C element and the C value finally will have a D. So in this way the C value gets updated and then we print it. That's why we got A, B, C and D printed periodically. Now let's try to replace this A at first and let's give it an another list inside here. We can give integers inside this list and the remaining code will remain the same and let's print. Uh, let's run this file again. Let's see what we'll get. We got the list at first position, then the remaining elements were the same as before. So which means that the C variable is not exactly a character. It can take any form. So as in the list of the first element was list. So the C variable got converted into list and then we printed it. So we got list in the output and the second iteration it got uh, the C value was updated to B character. So when we print it, we got B. Similarly, C and similarly for D. So this is how we can iterate over a list using a for loop. Now let's see how we can do that for a dictionary. Let's create a dictionary using a D name and within this dictionary we can have. Key and strings with a key one having a value of one. Then we can have another key key two with a value key two and then key three maybe. With the value of three. Now to iterate over a dictionary is a bit different from iterating over a list. There we had elements already inside the list and while iterating the values were getting updated according to the 
fade elements were inside the list. Now, when you iterate over D in similar way, you will get keys, not the values. So let's see. If we uh, do another for loop like we did for list, we can say for then a variable C we can replace with the K. For K and D, then let's print K and we'll see what do we get. So uh, we get key one, key two and key three printed here. This is because when we iterate over a dictionary, we are actually iterating over the keys. So at first our key variable got the key one as a value, then key two value, then a key three value. And now to extract the values inside a dictionary, we can use another square operator to locate the value with the key value. So what I meant is we can say T dictionary and then we can have a square bracket. Then we can give this key. And what this does is it returns the value saved inside a dictionary with this particular key. Now I'll run our code. Let's see. So at first we printed the key and then the next line we have the value associated with that key. Similarly for key two and key three is done. So file iterating our dictionary, we can have only the key values in a variable and to extract the value saved with that particular key, we need to use the square operator like this. The, the other two data structure, the, the tuple and the set are similar to list. You can iterate over them exactly like list. 